Hey everybody, this is Ian Haugland from the band Europe and you're looking at MMTV and continue to do that. Hello Jan, um, I'm so happy to, to be here, it's a great honor. Bulgaria yeah. love Europe. Yeah, that's amazing. It's... Does Europe love Bulgaria? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean. As you said, it's the third time we're coming around, so we're, yes. we're doing something right. And uh, of course, yeah, we love Bulgaria uh, and, and the fans, very passionate people and yes, love, love uh, rock and roll music. So it's, uh, it's always a big pleasure to, to play here. And also to be able to play some new songs and from oh, the, yes. from, well, actually we're, we're in the process of making a, another new album. It's gonna be out in September, so. But I, I believe we haven't been here since we released uh, War of Kings. Yes. So yes. it's uh, it's going to be some some new songs mixed up with uh, with uh, the old Beautiful. the old uh, cool songs. Yeah. Looking forward. Two days ago, we witnessed the final countdown for Deep Purple here in uh, Sofia, part of the Long Goodbye Tour. You are celebrating more than 30 years on mm -hmm. stage uh, in the music industry. What gives you strength to keep going? Power of music, you know, the passionate, the, the passionate feeling and uh, the will to explore and to make new musical journeys. And it's not really, it's not really about. Uh, trying to do something. It's um, this is what we do. This is our life, and this is our passion. So it's it's basically just being ourselves. So it's we haven't been playing now since before Christmas. So we're really, like oh, we want to yeah. get going. Yes, four months. Yeah. What is the future of rock music? Of rock music nowadays. I, I think nowadays. rock music will always be there. But uh, I mean, obviously, the the the, the business side is is uh, going to be totally different mm. with. Uh, uh, the snow reel, you know, like uh, back in the 80s, you could make a lot of money from selling music. Yeah. Uh, these days, um, most music is being uh, consumed on, on, you know, like YouTube or Spotify yeah, yeah, yeah. or, you know, like streaming uh, I'm asking services. because uh, Gene Simmons mm -hmm. said that the rock is dead. But I think he is more or less dead if, if, he, if he believes that. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think rock will ever die because it, it's, it's, a, it's an expression that uh, young people uh, have within them, you know, it's to explore and express. Recently, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden said in an interview that he finds it extremely difficult uh, rock bands to succeed nowadays. If Europe was starting now, what would you change in your career path or not change? Ooh, I think it would, I think we would have had a totally different mindset about the whole thing but I think that the, the, the driving force has always been for Europe the the, the, the will and the passion for music to, to play and uh, everything that comes along with with a passion you know the, the the success and and the small steps you know yes. onwards yeah. uh, I mean we were extremely lucky to, to have the, the final count on as a, as a worldwide hit yes. and I think it's today it's it, it would be it, it, Practically impossible to, to 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 get a hit like the final countdown. And Are you together. bored to play it? No, never, never. It's 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 <laughs> never boring. The question. Yeah, but. no, it's it's never boring because it's the the, the feeling uh, you get from the audience and the energy rush is yeah. so amazing. So it's it's uh, the first chords. On the piano. Yeah, you know, it's like making love with your f favorite girlfriend. Yes, or, yes, yes, yes. You know, you never. Beautiful. It's never boring. <laughs> One funny question. UK is a very important market for every musician. Are you considering changing your name after the Brexit? Uh, <laughs> While touring there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Europe will, Europe will be Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We, we, we never really uh, focused much on, on, you know, the political side. I mean, we, we do have opinions about certain things, but we, we, we try and be more of an entertainment uh, band. I mean, some yeah. bands are, are really engaged in, in po uh, politics and stuff, and I think that's cool because music is a very uh, powerful tool that's to put your opinions yeah. across. So it's, it's good in a way, but uh, no, Europe is, we, we're, we're always here to entertain. 
I want to ask you uh, what kind of music um, sounds in your spare time? What do you listen in your car at home? Oh, you know, you will probably not believe this, but I'm I'm totally crazy about electronic music. Whoa! Yeah, like like Jean Michel Jarre and, and uh, Yellow, Swiss band, and uh, the old uh, Tangerine Dream. Uh, it's, it's a German. Like a kraut rock band from from the from the 70s. Only synthesizers, no guitars, no drums. No, Only synthesizers. No. And I love the Pesh mode. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah <laughs> me too. So, but I mean, I, I mix that. I, I obviously I, I listen a lot to the uh, you know the classic rock yeah, bands yeah. as well. So it's 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 a big mix. Uh, it depends on what what kind of a uh, mood I'm in. But I, I love listening to to uh, uh, Jean Michel Char when I'm out walking because I do a lot of walking. Every day I try to, to walk for two hours, you know, and, and it's yes. perfect music to, to walk. How do you prepare for playing drums? A show, you mean? Before yes. a show? Yes, before I try show. to stretch, stretch my muscles and, and <laughs> you know, yes. and also, you know, try to, to, to get the energy uh, level up, you know, and, and uh, okay. so it's, yeah, so it's, it's uh, and um, it's not a problem when, you, when we haven't been on tour for four months like now, <laughs> because it's, yeah. you're, 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 full of you're a little, power. yeah, we're a little, uh, a little nervous because we haven't played in so long, and, and also we're very, you know, like, yeah, eager to, to get going. So it's, it's not a big problem for, for us at this point. It's, it's worse if, you, if you've been on tour for a long time. Yeah, I, mainly I stretch and I, you know, do my little, you know, warm-up routines with the drumsticks, yeah. and that's it. Okay, uh, Bulgaria, Renan Metz is the first date, mm -hmm. so I wish you yeah. luck. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.